what I'm going to do now, and hopefully I don't mess up my windows again, is I'm going to work on adding a um, a new backpack to the game. Uh, so I'm going to work on just a a simple uh, uh, new item. So I'm going to add some JSON. There's going to be no C++ code for this whatsoever. I'm just going to showcase some of the available um, JSON stuff that we have, and I'm going to walk through the whole process of making that commit, making a PR, and I'm going to talk through it a little bit more specifically because um, this will be this is the kind of thing that someone very new to Cataclysm would be interested in doing. So uh, the the thing in question that I'm looking to add is uh, something like. Uh, this. So this is the um, this is a bag that uh, Mystery Ranch, a company out of the U.S., makes um, for uh, hiking, and they have uh, they have hunting variants as well. Um, but the core thing about this that I think is uh, really cool and would be uh, neat for Cataclysm characters as a high end bag is uh, it's got this kind of um, uh, shelf system that you can if where you can um, loosen the uh, pack. And between the frame, and the frame and the bag itself, you can crunch some extra items, and so that's useful for you know they they advertise it for like hunting and stuff like uh, when you're actually packing out your game, uh, you can um, you can load it back there, or you know if you're hiking, you could take someone's pack if it was broken, and load it in between your pack and uh, and uh, your back, uh, but. That's a lot of extra bonus storage uh, for a character in Cataclysm, especially like the kind of weird stuff that someone might be dragging. And so I think that this might be a, uh, a useful and interesting um, tool to add. And so I'm going to just uh, I'm gonna hide it for now, but I'm going to keep that there. And so, um, yeah, or a box or, you know, a tent and like uh, your roll mat and, 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 um, and so, uh, yeah, it'll have a, it, it would have the potential to be like a pretty high end item. Um, that would be pretty convenient, um, I think for, for a lot of, uh, characters over just like the standard hiking bags we have now, which are useful. Um, but, uh, I think, uh, I think there is some, for the kind of like character or the kind of carrying that cataclysm characters do isn't always a perfect fit. So, uh, yeah, let me close VS. So, I'm going to go to uh, VS Code. This is where I do all of my uh, work on uh, JSON and stuff in general. Uh, all the JSON goes in the data folder, JSON, and then I'm going to go to Items here. This is where items normally go. And uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, stuff. Here, it's gonna be kind of hard to find, so I might just see if this is a better idea. If I just type hiking and then a space, I bet I can find there's a, a, a file called storage.json. There's my friend the hiking backpack, and I'm going to actually, while I edit this, I'm going to, well, I'm gonna get rid of some of this first because I don't need any of that. So, uh, to start with my new item, I'm just going to steal all of the hiking backpack tree. I'm going to copy that below, and then backpack. I'll just call it backpack hunting. I don't think that exists. Nope, it doesn't. So, um... Um, that's a good question, Eric. Uh, I, I, usually the answer is zero. 
I'm pretty sure for like almost every bag. I don't I don't think any bag in the game can fit a Sly Handler. Um but uh but uh I don't know for sure. Um so uh the first thing I'm gonna do uh with this this pack is uh I'm gonna just for because you wanna fill in all of these entries, which I've copied from above, and perhaps I'll add some more, but we'll start with these ones. Uh and so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go back to that website. Uh and I'm sure that they have a stat sheet here. So we got 6.1 pounds, which, um, sorry, I'm not American. Uh, I'm going to have to convert. Uh, so that's, uh, that does not sound right. Okay, so that is uh, 2,766 grams. Okay, someone who is American and would know. Uh, perfect. And so I'll go over to here. And uh, so it's quite a bit heavier than our hiking backpack now. Um, I think it was close to this. And um, volume packed up is... I got our always property. So, um, we have some dimensions here. I'm going to just, uh, second. I know it's silly that I do this, but I just go to Wolfram Alpha. Uh, And just punch it in instead of thinking about it. And see so that's 106 liters. And so that's definitely um, not folded up in any way, which is uh, which we probably want to do. Yeah, I mean it's there's no reason to just do it by hand, right? Um, so. This one's going to be a little bit iffier because this is set at what 14 liters but you know that's again this is so the literage is unstuffed and so it's what it can fold down into and so this bag is going to be so my my estimation is useful um because i don't want to put 100 liters in here that doesn't make any sense but these things do have a pretty hefty frame so they don't kind of fold in completely um so i guess i'm just gonna ballpark it uh and i'll keep it a round number so that um nobody uh um nobody freaks out or uh like people can assume that it's it's a um, it's a guesstimation when um when you just do uh when you keep the more even your number is the less believable it is um i think this is like a $600 bag and then the post-apocalyptic price should probably be the same um uh, it is it's amazing materials cordura and zipper so it's just now which i think we call nylon oh it's been a while since i've done it it is called that one. Cool. Or, sorry, I want to do it. So, nylon. We'll keep the same symbol because usually things try and stay consistent between. Uh, and it looks like for a backpack, that's just what item it'll fall back to if, um, if there isn't a default. Um, more of the 10 seems fine. Um, same with like the, the thickness. I don't think they specify on the website how thick it is. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's again, it's a backpack. It doesn't need to be too perfect for armor because um, uh, it's not really going to be protecting you for much. And so uh, now we'd be getting into the pockets. This is where it gets a little pedantic. Um, and so the we want to get rid of these knife pockets because those are bag only. 
and then we need to get I'm gonna get rid of all of these basic pockets except for one. Uh and then the rest of these you can see there's a description for um and are all carabiners and stuff like that. And so um uh this bag if I go and look at it again does have uh you know daisy chains and uh spots for carabiners lots of spots all over it and so kind of have a a bit of a standardization so you know you wouldn't carabiner every slot uh, we just have kind of a general amount based on and so i'll keep it similar to the hiking bag because i would want to uh push it so i just kind of want to stay with what's standard or what's uh, already kind of expected so uh i am yeah I'm uh I'm currently so what I'm working on right now is uh this is gonna be a tutorial on how to add an item to the game. Um I'm kind of working through all of the JSON stuff for that. And then um I'm gonna show how to actually commit that and then make a pull request. Um to actually like so that you know people can review it and then um add it in. So um I'm going to go back to the bag and um all right, we got two um, pouches on the sides here that you can kind of stuff stuff in or uh, add water bottles to. And so I'll just include those with... So we've already got one hydration pouch storage thing here, and I'm going to guess that all of these values are correct for it, because if it works for uh, the other bags, it'll, it'll work for uh, this one. And so I'll add an extra one for... Uh, Oh, actually, sorry, this is the hydration pack, not, not a water bottle. Um, does this have... I know there is entries for water bottles, too. Hey, hey, here's a water bottle pocket. Just one of the other bags in this, the day pack, has... Well, thank you. So, uh, I'll add... Two water bottle pockets and then like i said i'm going to keep these carabiner pockets and these dedicated tool loop slash daisy chain ones with compression straps just the same uh because i mean this all of these kind of uh large uh like heavy duty backpacks have those straps on top and we just assume you can hook some amount of stuff to it before it becomes too cumbersome and stupid um, anyways back to what i'm supposed to be doing uh, so, uh, working on this bag, back in the storage file. Uh, so, I've got the two water bottle pockets. Um, this does have space for a hydration pouch, and uh, which is like the, the tuck for, a, uh, for like a camelback or whatever. And then we're going to leave these exterior um, kind of pockets alone for bigger tools because uh, they should be fine as is and so the i'll do the first thing is the uh the big that kind of that storage shelf because that's kind of the cool thing about this i'm going to say so the 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 max that can fit in there um i know for a fact is at least well i'm going to see if they say it on their page but otherwise i can just do it myself here. No, no details on the the volume. They do say it can hold up to 150 pounds, but so back at the uh, back at the uh, the editing here. Um, as I said, I grabbed the two water bottle pockets and then. Uh, I'm going to work on this this uh, this pocket right here. Um, and so it's a container. I got rid of the holster entry. And then uh, this max contains volume uh, right here. Uh, I, I've i seen video. I'm not going to go dig for it now of people putting like uh, at least 40 liter packs back there. Um, and so, and I'm sure you could get more, but then you'd need to have less than the prop, the primary pocket. And so... I'll put 40 liters. Uh, I think that's a that's a reasonable estimation. And then 
Oh goodness, 150 pounds as uh, 150 pounds kilograms is. I think you can just put pounds in, but I'm not really. Oh, that's a big number. So 60 kilograms. Um, that's a little bit under, but. Um, and then so uh, now there's rules for kind of how big things can be to fit back here. Um, interestingly enough, I think these are reasonable values because, um, you know, the pack wouldn't be much higher than this. And then, uh, at minimum, like things do need to be quite long to kind of, uh, fit back here without, um, just kind of slipping out that sort of thing. So I'll just leave it at 40. Uh, it would be way more than 300 moves. So it would take, I'd say 10 seconds to, you gotta unclip everything and uncinch it to get anything out of this. And then the extra encumbrance are gonna, is going to be massive on this. I'd say it's probably like 15 or 20 and that's a ballpark, but, um, cause it's, you know, once you get your pack out that far, it's, uh, yeah, exactly. That's the kind of the idea is you, you'd start to kind of nest stuff if you really wanted that extra value. Uh, um, And um, it should probably have a small chance of, well, no, there's probably, ripoff is like a chance that when you get knocked around, stuff falls off. But uh, I can't uh, imagine that that's particularly valuable in this case. And yeah, exactly. A bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. MRE inside an MRE inside an MRE inside, a, inside of an MRE. Um, so... That's that pocket covered. Um, so now I need to just do the the actual storage itself. And so the total bag is um, the total bag is so this is an eighty liter pack, but that's between this this top pouch and then these two pouches on the front. Um, I'm going to simplify this because I'm not adding this pack to the game. I'm just basing a pack off of this one or kind of its features, and so. Uh, I'm going to simplify these two kind of um, pouches in the front. I just don't see the need to kind of add them. And so between the main compartment and this top, yeah, I don't know, I'd ballpark it at like maybe like 8 liters versus 72. And so I'm just going to make two pockets of that um, size. Go over here. I'll just do 72 and... Um, Similarly, we discussed that um, that's fine. The double, well, we, yeah, we'll do that. Um, and then the max item length looks good. Cause, well, it should be actually a little bit longer. This is a really tall bag. Um, I don't know what the magazine well in this case is doing. I can get rid of that. And uh, we'll keep it at expensive to dig in. And then we'll make that top pouch. Eight liters. And we'll make it carry way less weight. Uh, and we'll put a much shorter max length. Uh, the dimensions of the pack put it at the shortest side is 13 inches. I guess it's around 33 centimeters, and so that's about as long as the thing you're going to get in. So, 33 centimeters, and then it's much faster to access that top pouch, say 200. Um, and so, with that, we've got the, the main compartment, the, um, the top load, uh, compartment that a lot of these bags would have, uh, two side water bottle pockets that I add, and then just the stuff that I grabbed from the uh, the hiking bag, which I'm not going to argue with, it's already true. 
and uh, then this uh, this kind of back loading pouch as well, which I'm gonna use the, the carry weight on this because it's not the because uh, the whole bag can carry this amount of weight, and so I kind of gotta split it up between the pockets. Um, and so that all looks pretty good right there. So pockets are done. Um, the use action is wrong. This is for the 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 blade pouches or the knife pouches that would have been on the hiking bag. This isn't going to have those. However, it does have a small amount of mole webbing on the hip belt. And so I'm going to add uh, the mole features from uh, some of the uh, other items that uh, we have in the game. So I'll go. I'm curious if there actually is. Uh, no, that's not going to do it. Yeah, okay, so the mole pack's going to have the right use action that I want. Uh, it's actually, it's pronounced mole. Um, I just never say it out loud, so. Uh, or molly or mole, yeah. I uh, I just never say it out loud because I'm Canadian, and so it doesn't come up in conversation. Uh, ever because uh, you know you don't you don't see many guns or tactical stuff up here. So sorry, I was pronouncing that wrong. It is uh, a molly or moly whatever. Uh, uh, so uh, I'm gonna grab the um, the code for that from the uh, the this uh, the molly pack and uh, just keep copying and pasting stuff. Um, yeah, again, uh, it's like, unless you make backpacks for a living or spend a lot of time at a, a range or an airsoft club, I, uh, I don't know how it would come up. Um, and so, uh, this, uh, this here is just a, the, to the, the actions required to actually, uh, attach it. If I look around... Are the hip belts actually sleeves? Oh, here's the belt. Cool. So, a webbing belt, which is an item I knew we had in the game, um, has the attach mole option, uh, but it's got a size of four. And so, um, I'm going to say that this has about the same amount of uh, molly as a uh, as a hip belt. And um, since each unit of kind of space is one. Uh, ammunition pouch or uh, magazine pouch uh, based on kind of lining it up online. You know, that makes sense that you could probably fit about four things, two and two, on the uh, on this hip belt conveniently with them all not just being overlapping in a mess. So I'll go back to storage item. And I'll swap that to a size of four so that the storage is appropriate. And then um, these flags are going to be correct because I'm making a backpack and I copied originally from a backpack. But it's um, uh, belted just means that it's on the uh, strap layer, which all of our armor is. If I actually check in goggles, I bet I can get details for that. And so I can actually see if I look in the armor balance and design uh, doc, it'll actually tell me that, you know, pouches and storage, things like rifle slings, backpacks, etc., all go on the, this layer. So that's correct. It's waterproof, which it's made of nylon. That is correct. Uh, only one is you can only wear one on the layer, uh, which there's no way you could wear two framed backpacks. So that works. And uh, oversize is. Um, that's if I recall, it's uh, it's about fitting, and so a oh, it's actually that it can be worn by large characters, and that's probably wrong because this is a Frank bag, so there's no way. Um, and so it's got a couple of those flags, and I could potentially add more if I knew more about the code, but I'm gonna trust that the hiking bag already would have had most of what I needed. Um, then. So the only thing left to do is uh, the armor data. So where it actually sits on the character. Um, 
I don't actually like this definition, so I'm going to rewrite a bunch of it. Um, and that's because I'm a dev and I'm picky about these things. But um, a bunch of the chunks are correct. So specifically the covers torso, specifically covers torso hanging back. That's great. That's where you want your backpack hanging off your back. Additionally, however, um, I think I do want it to also hang off of the, or to cover the waist um, or like the belt area, because you wouldn't be able to get, you know, a duty belt, like a police duty belt or something on with a hiking bag with, with a, with a belt that you've attached, you know, uh, Molly bits to, or yeah, I'm going to stop thinking about it. I'm just going to call it Molly. Um, so I'm going to go back to, um, where that webbing belt was, because I know that it'll have the, uh, the description of what I'm looking for which is the torso waist is the other location I want, which is spot the, the waist itself. And so I'll just add that here so that I know that it covers both of those spots. That works. And uh, the coverage of 100 looks right. Um, it's a really big bag. It's going to cover uh, all the space that it, it uh, really would. The thing I don't like is this, this encumbrance 10 to 40. This is the old way to do encumbrance. So I'm going to do the new way instead, which is I'm going to set it to, and I think the this belt actually does it too. So this belt has just the flat encumbrance, which is how much it always counts to wear. And then um, it has a encumbrance modifier, which is how um, basically like per volume, how much encumbrance you get. Uh, and it's based on kind of a constant that's defined um, in the code. Uh, the details aren't super important, but I bet if I look at some other stuff here, I'll see that most backpacks have around a 0.2 or a 0.22. And so I'll actually, I'll just source. Okay. Actually, it looks like people tweaked a lot of these. Um, what was one five? Oh, it's a lag rig. No, it's not on. Um, looks like point two is about right for what I want. I'm actually surprised these people really uh took these since the last time I looked. But so uh point two seems correct. So I'll just go down here. I'll steal, let's steal the code so I don't type something wrong. I will write so it's flat encumbrance of ten, and then volume encumber modifier. And so at this point, this bag should just work. And so I will actually try it. I'll load it up and check. I should stop the bleed on this character. He's just going to die. Okay. So uh, I'll try and spawn this item, this hunting backpack, and there it is. Um, so <laughs> there's a lot of encumbrance when it is full. Uh, That's very funny. Um, so just a just an absolute pile of storage, though. Let me uh, let me spawn it so I can actually scale through it. Uh, you know, one hundred and forty-two liters fully uh, stocked. Even though, again, it would be impossible to fight wearing something like this. But uh, and so you know, those pockets have that information there. We can see that it's a uh, We've got this massive pocket that causes a lot of additional encumbrance and is very slow, but um, gives you that extra storage if you need it. And then um, those two core pockets and then your tool pockets as well. Um, so that's great. Um, that all works. I mean, my character can wear it as well. It, uh, 
how it works that way. Um, and I can see that it does cover the locations that I want it to, too. The, uh, the only thing left to do now is it doesn't spawn anything. Right? So, uh, you know, actually distributing an item amongst the game is a, uh, an important part of adding something. And so to do that, to get it to actually spawn, I'm not going to go through meticulously and look at a bunch of spawn groups. I'm just going to take a look at where the hiking backpack spawns, and I'm going to see if the, it would be appropriate, excuse me, for it to also spawn um, here. And so this is a camping item group. It's super reasonable for the, uh, the backpack hunting to spawn an inch. And it'll be a much lower chance, though, because this, this should be a rare bag. But that is okay. And so what is this one? This one's in living room. Um, I mean, some people might have it. There's lots of other bags here. And so, again, very low probability. Uh, in a bedroom, same deal. Lots of options for big bags here, so... Yeah. Hunting, and it'll be a low probability. In stashes, um, no, I shouldn't do that one because this is uh, this is using it as a specific container for some spawning items. Messing with that would break stuff. So this isn't an item distribution. So I'll ignore that one. Uh, here's just bags. So. I guess if it's you're not clear, I'm just reading the IDs of these to get an idea of what the actual spawn groups are. Large bags. This is also a large bag. Again, lower the probability a bunch. And then what is this? Bags unisex. More bags of all sorts for domestic buildings. So, uh... For domestic buildings, I don't think it should even be in there, uh, because no one's going to carry a bag this big to uh, kind of out and about. The, the hiking bag even seems kind of loose for this one, but can ignore it. Um, that's a repairs like, but just kind of more repairs likes. This is for NPCs to spawn, but again, I don't, I don't need to mess with that. And so it looks like. The rest of this stuff is mod, which I don't want to mess with, or uh, NPCs. And so with that, I'm done. There are spawns for it in-game. Uh, I just added them. And then I've also added, I've tested that it actually spawns itself. And so the only thing left to do is to actually uh, PR this, this new item that I want to add. So, well, actually, there's two things I should do. Uh, the first is... The code itself that I've worked on, I need to make sure that it is um, styled correctly. There's style guidelines for the project itself, and so I need to make sure that uh, what I'm adding isn't going to be an ugly mess so that things like spacing and stuff are correct. Uh, the easiest way to do that, though, is if you go to... I'll load it up here. So um, there's just this website that you can use, and this is much easier than yeah, stop clicking on stuff. Um, this is much easier than um, uh, working on the wow words. Uh, this is a lot easier than trying to manually do it yourself or uh, running any kind of code that you have to compile yourself to do it. The website will just spit it out, and so I'm just going to take the entire file, the storage.json file that I edited, cut it so that I know that I grabbed it all, go back to the thing, paste all the JSON in, hit the lint button. It looks like it actually did rearrange some stuff. Now I'm going to go back in here, hit this, and then save it. And so now it'll be actually styled the correct way that it will be accepted by the game. Uh, or by the developers for the game.
um, then if I go to, I just have GitHub desktop set up with all of my stuff configured. And um, I'm not going to talk about how to configure it today. Um, you can find probably lots of tutorials on how to do that online. Um, but so I've got my, my changed files here and my entry with uh, what it did was it spread out. This was the bit of formatting that it did for me is it, it spread that out, the this armor info out over multiple lines. So I'm just going to do uh, in the corner here, I can make a commit. And so I'm just going to add hunting. And I'm going to first make sure I'm on an got to do things in order. Uh, let's start by making a new branch off of the upstream master, and I'll just call it nothing bag. And it is going to prompt me to bring my changes or not. And I'll say bring my changes because this is the code that I want to be there. Now that I'm on hunting bag, I'll do what I said I was going to do and I'll make that commit. So I've got the, if I check the history here, there's just all of the other code uh, below, but my new my new commit is there. I'm going to publish this branch. That makes it actually available for me online. Then if I go to... If I go to the actual repository itself, because I'm set, uh, because I'm a fork of uh, the original distro, it just tells me that it can detect, GitHub can detect that I've published this uh, branch. And it's going to tell me, hey, do you want to make a pull request? Which I do. So, um, and so now I've just got to explain to the developers uh, why it is that this item is relevant and useful and, you know, why it should be added. So the first thing I do is uh, give it a useful title, something that's actually understandable. Then I'm going to go down to summary here, and I need to explain, or I need to kind of put in um, some details. And this is what, uh, if you ever see like the patch notes that come out every Friday on Reddit and stuff, this is where all, of, like those titles get pulled from here. And so it explains kind of down here that I need to replace the word category with one of these um these words. Any JSON stuff is going to be content. And so I'll just call it content and then and so that would be what people would see if they actually checked, you know, on the Reddit thread or on, um, I think the launch, the launchers pull that as their, like, as their um, patch notes as well. And so um, the purpose of the change for items and stuff. I mean, you can get particularly philosophical about um, why you think it's good for game design, or you can just um, explain kind of what it does. Um, And I'll just talk about what you did um, under describe the solution. Um, not a lot really to be said here. I'm just going to explain that it's a bag and that uh, where I kind of got the reference from. So it's on.
um, if for items you can usually just leave uh, alternatives you've considered blank. It's not really that relevant uh, for testing. Oh, and I'll mention actually up here uh, that I added its irrelevant spawn groups for testing. Um, let's say. Uh, Right. And then for additional context, this is where you'd normally put a screenshot. It uh, really helps reviewers if you do take a screenshot of your item. But yeah, so that's a uh, an example of, I guess, uh, how to do an item. And so I'll, I'll just put screenshot to comment here. And then make sure that all my code actually is here on GitHub, which it does appear to be. And so I'm just going to hit create pull request. And at that point, the um, the everything's working. Stuff's running. And uh, so I just need to, at this point, wait for uh, people to review it. And at some point, I should check back and make sure that the tests down here have actually run correctly and that there wasn't anything wrong. Because if there was, I'd have to fix it. But I styled it correctly and uh everything so there shouldn't be any problems there um